Please Hello? introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ian Plosker, the technical lead of international operations at Basho Technologies, uh, the makers of REOC. Great. And what are you currently working on? So currently, um, I'm helping Basho expand in EMEA. We're opening an office in London, hiring people, and just getting Basho out there, trying to get people introduced to REOC. So. Sounds great. Uh, what have you done in the professional field? So before working at Basho, I worked for a um, small company in Annapolis, Maryland, working on a competitive intelligence gathering system as well as a bioinformatics platform. And um, I joined Basho about 10 months ago, originally as a developer advocate, and um, basically helping our customers be incredibly successful using REOC, and now I'm here in Europe. Great. Uh, so, how do you get in here in your profession? How do I get here? Yeah. Um, Can you explain what, what was before Erlang? Oh, how did I get to Erlang? So, I, um, <laughs> so I've been doing um, development for ever, basically, since I was a kid. Um, I started with QBasic on DOS machines and Visual Basic and eventually um, doing web development in Java, .NET, um, et cetera. And eventually, I stumbled upon Erlang when I was building the um, bioinformatics platform I mentioned earlier. And so, I'm, um, so Erlang was actually the perfect solution to that problem. And while I was working on that project, I um, came across REOC. And that's how I ended up in the job I'm in today. So, Good. And just a normal human question. Yep. How do you spend your spare time? <laughs> well, there's, so in terms of um, development, I actually hack a little bit. Right now, I have a project I'm bringing um, software transactional memory to Erlang, um, as well as working on advanced forms of bloom filters. And outside of development, I, um, I cook. And <laughs> that's, my, um, that's my other passion, it's food. So. Good for you. Yeah. And please, just imagine, a world without IT, what will be your profession? Huh. Well, it would probably be one of two things. I'd either be in medicine or I'd be cooking. Why? <laughs> Why? Um, well, cooking because I'm passionate about it mm -hmm. and um, medicine because that's what I was um, <laughs> training for before I ended up in IT. I, I didn't mention earlier, but I studied um, neuroscience, biology, and psychology in university, and so um, I was <laughs> kind of on track to do medicine. But and why you have changed your mind? Um, because I, I love IT, so <laughs> Great. it's much more fun. So, like yeah. everybody in here. Yep. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Cut. Yeah. Thank you so much.